Hello everybody and this is PBG Jeopardy here for 2022 and we have, we're breaking the rules of Jeopardy. We are literally multiplying the number of players in the game of Jeopardy by 24 as we have eight players currently playing. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven <laughs> players. I am not playing, I am just hosting, but there are eight people here. Um, so I will introduce ourselves to our wonderful contestants later on in the show. But first, it's time for me to introduce our categories. We have Sounds Like Tennis. So this one are answers that sound like tennis. We have That's Canadian Entertainment. There may or may not be a question about Shit's Creek on here, so get ready. Tasty oh, Business. This is probably about food. Blue Sapphire, how's it going? Somebody wrote that. That is a category that's probably about somebody writing something. And then we have No Man is an Island. I'm going to wager that No Man is going to be about women, and Is an Island is probably, you guys guessed it, about islands. Mitchell, you're going to choose the first category just because, you know, I like you. So wh oh, wh where do you want to start? Favoritism. Oh, let's start with No Man for 200, please. All right, No Man for 200. This Babylonian, oh, no. not messing around with his code, if son strikes his father, his hands shall be hewn off. Eric. Who is Hammurabi? That is correct. 200 points, uh, Eric. It is your board. Who let the librarian in the game? Yeah, also, <laughs> also, is anybody else is not actually going... Sorry, I didn't even hear what happened. I'm having a conversation with Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I would advise that the contestants do not talk to each other in secret, or I will have to take Oh, it's not in secret. It's in scheduling. It's in, it's in it's chat. In scheduling. Uh, can we do Tasty Business for 400, please? Tasty Ooh. Business for 400. BB is the stock symbol of this company that today is more into cybersecurity than devices. Uh, Mike. Uh, what is Blackberry? That is correct. You're bored. Oh, fuck. Nice. Uh, that's Canadian Entertainment for 200. 200. Yeah. This hip hopper's love for Toronto was well known, and a 2018 report said about 5% of the city's annual tourism income was due to him. Paul. Ah, Paul. Who is Drake? That is correct. Drake, six, won six, you Drake wonders Drake. that every morning. Six, six, six. Who is Drake? <laughs> Why is Drake? Why is that Drake? Is Drake. <laughs> right, Mitchell, Paul. do you remember our Drake game back in yes. the day? When... Yeah, okay, good. I do. Mitch, can I ask um, a question? Yes. No. What were you doing stacking cards last night? Oh, stacking cards? What was I? Oh, we were playing one of those escape games. Oh, okay. Uh, Chris, I'll, I'll just tell you right now, your fiance painted you in a bad light. She made you seem like you were crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that. I like that. It is Mitchell's fiance that is being painted in a bad light when Justin just magically knows what Mitchell is doing every night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Paul, where are we going to next? Um, man, I don't know. Not the tennis one. Let's do Canadian Entertainment 400, please. You ought to know this Ottawa born singer imported Flea and Dave Navarro to play on that song. Paul. Oh. Who is Alanis Morissette? That is yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh. no. Uh, oh, no. That's taken away from me in grade four for that song. Oh, yeah? <laughs> All right, Paul, what's uh, your next? 600. This Vancouver native lent his voice to the city's public transit in 2018. Here's a sample. Get those feet off the seat. My mom might be sitting there one day. Come on. Tyler. Oh, it was Ryan Reynolds? That is incorrect. Oh, that's what I would have guessed, though. Mike. Who is Seth Rogen? That is correct. A thousand Seth points Rogen? for oh, Mike. Oh. I feel like as somebody who lived in Vancouver, I should have known that one, but... Uh. <laughs> Where to next, Mike? What's, what's Vancouver? <laughs> uh, it's an <laughs> island for 200. The Kanmon Undersea Tunnel connects Kyushu with this largest of the four main islands of Japan. Paul? Yeah, Paul. <laughs> Paul? Yeah, Paul? This is your category, oh. Paul. Your little I didn't islands. That. We were looking for oh, Honshu. Honshu. We were looking for Honshu. Honshu. Mike, you're up next. Uh, let's go. Is an island for 400. Taking the beauty of ha uh, Hanama Bay on this island, also known for the totally awesome waves on its shore. Mitchell. Is Maui? That is incorrect. Shit. It does <laughs> sound Hawaiian. Ask a though. question. What's the other one? Eric. What is Honolulu? That is incorrect. Ah. 
You know, it's better to buzz in, though. That's what we always say here. We were looking for Oahu. Oahu? Oahu? Oahu. 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 Thank you. Oahu. Thank you. Sometimes even... That was great, though. I really enjoyed that. Sometimes even Alex needs help from beyond the grave. Mike, where are you going next? Oh, shit. Still me, huh? Yeah, still you. Uh, Tasty business for 200 All right. Developer Jeff Raskin loved this type of apple so much, he named an Apple computer after one. Damn. Nathan. Oh, ah. What is Macintosh? That is correct. Where to next? Bruh. Um, that's, that's not even a question. That's a fact of the life we live. <laughs> um, well, technically, uh, that's Canadian. technically oh. Eric, your answer is the question. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, it's Jeopardy. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Sorry for interrupting you, Nathan. Uh, I just had to, no, I just had no, to do I, my mostly duties and defend the honor of it. this game. It was worth it. <laughs> Uh, that's Canadian Entertainment for 800. Canadians starring on this sketch show include Eugene Levy, Catherine O'Hara, and John Candy. Oh, Tyler. God damn it. Oh, is Shit's Creek? That is incorrect. No. You, you Nathan, were told that there was one. What is SCTV? That is correct. That's the one. You're bored. Uh, Canadian Nathan? Entertainment for 1,000, please. All right. Eve on Killing Eve. Oh, she fuck. considered studying know. journalism, but went to Montreal's National Theatre School instead. Good school. It's too new. Is it? Yeah, I've not seen that. Who is Sandra O? Oh. All right. We've oh. got some questions in. Now I'm going to talk to all of our contestants, and we're going to start with a very simple one. It's 2022. Paul, what is your New Year's resolution for 2022? Um, <laughs> you may have realized, but it was to update all of my contacts in my phone. <laughs> <laughs> With everyone's, um, like, birthdays and, like, other information oh. that I might have been missing. But most of it was, like, birthdays. So I could have... On Honestly, birthdays. Paul, when you texted me asking that, I was worried you were taken over by some sort of phishing scheme. <laughs> I was like... <laughs> oh, I, my I, God. I actually just What's send your out a text and word it like that intentionally to seem like a bot. Yeah. Yeah, Kirsty said that she put her phone down. She's like, I'm getting fished by Paul. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah there was just something. That's why I didn't give you my year or <laughs> postal code at first. Yeah, or so mother's maiden name. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'm she has your mother's maiden name? Uh-oh. <laughs> card information. All right. Uh, Nathan, what is your New Year's resolution for 2022? Uh, kill less orphans. Dude, that's a great resolution, but I hope personally that you don't succeed at it. <laughs> I would like you. I would like to see my my hope for 2022 is more dead orphans for sure. Oh, I can change it to more. Kill no, it's more. too late. It's already it's already said I I, right. I I wrote I carved it onto the Rosetta Stone. It is how it oh, has to be. All right. Well, I hope that you killed no orphans last year. And so Ooh, I'm so sorry, Paul. <laughs> Mitchell, what about you? What's your resolution for 2022? Oh, I'm going to go with Omicron. <laughs> that's just, that's yeah. it? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't need to, I don't need to hear anything else. It's perfect. <laughs> Mike, what about you? What's your resolution for 2022? Uh, mine's boring. To write more. To write more. Nice. I'm expecting a haiku delivered every Sunday. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to write haikus. Haven't you signed up for Julie's poetry? Come yes. on, Justin. No, what? <laughs> No, never mind. Let's, let's move on. Next question. Tyler. <laughs> Tyler, what is your New Year's resolution for 2022? To leave more courtesy tabs on my electrical tape. Oh, I like that Oh, one. that's always good. That does sound good. Can you explain to our viewers at home in three words what a courtesy tab is? <laughs> I could do Folded it. little dude. Folded <laughs> little dude. You know, it's pull. easy, easy pull over. tape. It's easy pull easy tape. Pull tape. Easy Very pull nice. Tape. All right, Meg, what about you? What's your resolution for 2022? Oh, it's the same as every year. It's not make resolutions. Goals are for weenies. All right, well, because we have to give you one by contract of the show, you're going to have the same one as Nathan. Kill less orphans. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. And Eric, what about you? What's your resolution for 2022? My my New Year's resolution, I've decided this year, after a lot of thought, is that I'm going to help Mitchell 
achieve his New Year's resolution. You know what? This is also great, and I require no further explanation. Let's get back to the game. Uh, so currently, Eric's at minus 200, Megan's at zero, Tyler's at minus 1,400, Mike and Nathan are both have 1,000 and are leading, Mitch is at minus 400, Paul, you're at 600. Nathan, it is your board. Where do you want to go next? That was impressive. Um, somebody wrote that for 200? Melvina Young wrote the greeting card titled The Sisterhood for this company's Uplifted and Empowered Collection. Nathan. What is Hallmark? That is correct. You're bored. Uh, sounds like tennis for 200. Ambrose, <coughs> Ambrose <laughs> Beer is defined oh, no. as a temporary <laughs> insanity curable by marriage. We were looking for love. Ugh. That's, oh, that's why like it sounds tennis. like tennis. It sounds love like tennis. Yeah. I don't, I don't oh, get it. So all right, I'm not picking Mike, another one from that. Uh, that uh, Mike, at all. love is a point system in tennis. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, somebody wrote that for 400. Raymond K. Price Jr. wrote the first and last words of the Nixon presidency, his first inaugural address, and his this last public speech. His resignation. Oh, I was just going <laughs> to say I'm not a crook. I would not have given it to you, but I would have high fived you, Nathan. Where are we going oh, next? Damn it! Uh, tasty business for six. Makes sense. Be our standard is a fashion line from this store. <laughs> Banana Republic. Banana Republic. That oh, makes sense. Oh, B R. All right. All Still right. your board, Nathan. <laughs> no man for four. Andrew Volstead gave a big no with the national this act which enforced the 18th Amendment. America. America. What is, what is the 18th Prohibition. Amendment? Prohibition. Prohibition. We were looking oh, for Prohibition. Oh. Nathan, you're up next. Uh, back to somebody who wrote that. How great is this beloved hymn that began as a Swedish poem by Carl Boberg and has been recorded by Carrie Underwood and Elvis? Nathan. What is How Great Thou Art? That is correct. And How Great Thou Art, that's 600 points. Sorry, dollars, <laughs> dollars. We're giving money here. We're giving money to the winner. Thank you, uh, Alex. Wait, we're getting money for this? Yeah, I'm going to put some decimal points somewhere in there, the but there will be right some. Now? Yeah, you're, you're, there's, yeah, you're actually owing me $200. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm at zero? Phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, you're bored still. Uh, continue on with Somebody Wrote That, please. Uh, Lionel George wrote the album notes for Otis Redding Live at This Club on the Sunset Strip and won a Grammy for the effort. Good luck. Bellagio. The Whiskey A Go Go. Oh, <laughs> oh I've, I actually have heard of that. <laughs> All right, Nathan, where to next? Uh, finish that one up. Newspaper editor Francis Farcellus Church wrote the 1897 reply to young oh. Virginia O'Hanlon that's known by these seven words. Seven words, wow. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. Oh! And he gives great head. Nathan, where to next? Uh, sorry, uh, can you uh, go over that one? Yeah, Santa sucks like a vacuum. <laughs> Where, where to, where to when next, did you Nathan? experience this? That's oh, yeah. only five words. <laughs> Santa yeah. sucks like a vacuum. <laughs> uh, uh, no man for 600, please. On April 28, 1789, Fletcher, Christian, and Cruz said no to this caption's tough love, sending him off in a boat. Oh, shoot. So these are men that say no. Captain Hook. Nathan. Who is Captain Blackbeard? That is incorrect, but great guess. Dang. It's the right time period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Captain Bly. Uh, oh. William Bly. Yep. All right, Nathan, it's still you. It's still you. Uh, no man for 800. In this 1944 battle named for the shape of opposing lines, U.S. General Anthony McAuliffe replied nuts to a demand for surrender. The shape of opposing lines. Battle of the Bulge. I just about went with that one. Battle the of the Bulge. I, I watched really that. <laughs> All right, Nathan. Uh, 1,000, please. 
Dear Diary, in 1662 he was not a fan of a Midsummer Night's Dream, which I had never seen before, nor shall ever again. <laughs> oh. That's fair. <laughs> Looking for Samuel Pepys. Man, I really wish we had more Pepys. Canadian entertainment. That would that was a good category for that. That was a good category. That was a fantastic category. <laughs> Alright, Nathan, where to next? Uh I don't know, Mike, where to next? But I'm more curious about the sounds like tennis. All right, I sounds like get, tennis for 400, please. I want to get one of these. Spot for a potential earthquake. Tyler. What is a fault? That is correct. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that that uh, Tyler. Tennis for six. The money you net from an investment. Uh... Hmm. What is we looking for? A return. Return. Oh. return. This one should That's be neat. easy. Yeah. yeah, it should uh, be. If only any of us played tennis. <laughs> uh, tennis for eight. In blackjack, it can have one of two different values. Oh, Eric. Uh, what is an ace? That is correct. Congratulations, Eric. You are now making money, and it is your board. Well, we can't have that happen to stream, so let's go tasty business for 1,000, please. This restaurant chain says the only ingredient it uses that's hard to pronounce is the pepper in its name. Paul. Oh, I'm choking. What is chilies? That is incorrect. Yeah. Megan. What is chipotle? That is correct. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's duh. It. I want my baby back, baby back. Baby okay, back, baby I want to try this last tennis one. <laughs> All right, tennis for a thousand. The operating expenses of running a business. Paul. What is overhead? That is correct. Nice. Oh. Back to 600. Um, let's do is an island for 600. Daily double. <gasps> dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, no. I don't understand what this does. <laughs> Paul gets to play. Eric, best. just hope okay. there's only two in the whole game. Just hope you don't get it. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, there's th Unless, there's there's three in the whole three. game. There's, there's three, three because it's double jeopardy. Paul, enter in your wager. I did, and it's saying it must be at least five dollars, and I entered. Do I have to put a dollar sign? No. Who is stroking the board? Who's the white glove that's stroking the board? That's Whoever's Mitchell. Playing white. I'll be Mitchell. Yeah. Uh, Mitchell's <laughs> just loving the board. Just... <laughs> I forgot you guys. I'm had putting in a hand. number. Uh, I got there... It. it. There might be a thing. I I've made it so it's in there. So it's in there, Paul. Are you ready to see your daily double? I wanted to do 600. Can you do 600? Uh, maybe. Let's find out. I already entered five, but let's see what happens if I do this. It's 600. Okay. All right. You ready, Paul? Yeah. One third of Earth's lava flow since 1500 is said to have come from volcanoes in this Atlantic island nation. Nation. Atlantic. I, we can't give it. No. Nope. 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 This is just, this is uh, just Paul. Uh... uh like what is the Mediterranean? That or is like, uh... Incorrect. We were looking for Iceland. Oh shit! Okay, that's okay. All uh, right, yeah. Paul. Island eight hundred. Brunei and the thirteen five hundred foot Mount Kinabalu are on this large island that lies on the equator. That was a very weird way to say that number. <laughs> Borneo, otherwise known as where the first season of Survivor was held. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Once called Mount Victoria, Tamanivi on Vidi Levu is the highest point in this nation. We were looking for Fiji, which I sure, I'm sure Survivor also had a season on. Uh, they no, just did. That's one. actually they they more or less only go there now. All right, good job for good job for Fiji. All right, last one of the first round. Named for a green sushi condiment, this company calls itself the world's hottest cloud storage. Eric. Ah, what is wasabi? That is correct. All right. We're going to move on to double jeopardy, but before we get started, we're going to check out everybody's scores. So, currently in last place, we have Tyler with negative 1,000. Then we got Mitchell with negative 400. Then Paul with zero. We then go to Megan and Mike, who each have 1,000. Nathan hey. has 1,200. And uh, Eric is currently leading with fourteen hundred dollars. Categories no. for <laughs> this uh, double jeopardy include first day on the job, facts about animals. Oh my God, Mitchell! 
What? <laughs> is there he's something happening in Discord still? No, he's no, following you. He's, his little white like, <laughs> cursor is doing her. everything you're talking about. <laughs> now if you press fucking anime, someone else magnifies it, so he's making it bigger. Now Mike is. Quote the Maven. Author's not authoring. And the best supporting actor Oscar goes to Just and got really seven sad. syllable words. Oh. Alright. Um, so by rules, I believe we normally have Tyler go first. <laughs> and as much as I want to give it to Mitchell, because oh. Mitchell never talks in Jeopardy, I'm, I'm going to have to still go by the rules. And you know what? No, I'm going to screw the rules. Mitchell, you get to choose. I want to hear your yeah, voice. I think there's a but coming, isn't there? Yeah. All right. I choose. <laughs> That's about animals. Uh, it's so nice to hear your normal, human, beautiful voice. <laughs> it's been so long. Yeah. The right or bowhead, this gets the right or bowhead this gets tangled in fishing nets, which can stunt growth, causing the species to be shorter than its typical fifty-two feet. Megan. What is a whale? That is correct. Mm. I don't um, understand what that sentence was, but okay. Let's... Yeah, me neither. <laughs> that was you're a not, lot. You're not listening hard enough, that's all. <laughs> um, let's go to first day on the job. Getting used to the binoculars and keeping an eye out for rip currents are first aid tasks at this summer job. Mitchell. Oh, what is lifeguard? That is correct. Oh, nice. Let's go seven syllable words for 400. Oh, no. It's not being too shy to have one's picture taken. It's the quality of being responsive to light. Nathan. No, I fucked up. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mike. Mike. Uh, what is photogenic? That is incorrect. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's Tyler. What, Tyler. what is photosensitivity? That is correct. Tyler, it is oh. your board. That was only four that. syllables, Mike. It was. It was. I don't count. Uh, seven <laughs> syllable for 800. A gross this is a misrepresentation of an event as less complex than it really is. Nathan. What is an over-exaggeration? That is incorrect. Paul. What is an oversimplification? That is correct. Oh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is your uh, board, Paul. Yep, nope, yep. Let's uh, yep. do... Let's do... You know what? This is a cool category. 1,200 words. 1,200 words. Type of church not affiliated with Baptists or Presbyterians, for example, it includes many mega churches. Eric. What is evangelical? That is incorrect. Oh! <laughs> Eric just got stabbed. Nathan. <laughs> Nope, I'm dumb. All right, that's uh, not it either. <laughs> Paul. What is Protestant Catholic? That is incorrect. Megan. What is non-denominational? That is correct. Nice. Oh, fuck. All right, Megan, well, this, God, it is Megan. still your your board. I want out of this category. Um, let's. <laughs> Uh, go to Best Supporting Actor Oscar goes to because oh. Justin will take pleasure that we all don't understand this category. Tommy Lee Jones for doing the pursuing in this movie. Boom, got it. Nathan. <laughs> what is The Fugitive? That is correct. I don't care. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good care. movie. Uh, oh, yeah. For 800, please. Jared Leto as Rayon in this 2013 film. Rayon. Paul. Oh my god, what is it called? Uh, what is Dallas Buyers Club? That is correct. Uh, is Rayon yeah. the type of fabric? That was his yes. name. No, Rayon yeah. is his name. I, yeah, it's been a very long time. Controversy. Um, first day in the job, be 100. One word title of the job seen here. On your first day, don't be nervous. <laughs> Remember your gl glissando and fingering technique. Oh no. It's a musical instrument of some kind. Yeah. For Eric. Kind of what is flutist? That is good. That is good. Yeah, it says flautist, oh, but yeah. I'm giving it to you. Um, let's go quoth the maven for 1600, please. In 1850, <laughs> this lawyer and future president wrote, discourage litigation. There will still be business enough. <laughs> Abe Lincoln. Abe mm -hmm. Lincoln. Oh, America. Like one. Yeah. yeah, a 1 in 50 something chance. <clears throat> um, <laughs> let's go quote the Maven for 1200, please. A smart guy himself, this Greek wrote in Protagoras, knowledge is the food of the soul. Oh, um. 
Plato. I was gonna say that. Yeah. yeah. Let's go 800. Let's continue embarrassing ourselves. Dave Thomas, founder of this fast food chain, said, Know your product, know your customer, and have a burning desire to succeed. Uh, Wait, my button's broken. Ah! Mitchell! My, my, my oh, was broken. What is KFC? That is incorrect. Oh. Mike! What is Wendy's? That ah, is correct. Bitch! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James is in chat, and he just shouted Wendy's, then come on, but he spelled it with a U, so that's gross. <laughs> 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 uh, first day on the job for 1200 new at this gig deal Gorsuch embrace life on the cafeteria committee and having to open the door when someone knocks heavy american vibe here mm -hmm. nathan yeah. what is butler that is incorrect Ooh, that was a big number <laughs> yeah it was a big number <laughs> yeah it was... we're looking for supreme court justice oh Oh, okay. Oh, right, because Neil Gorsh is a Supreme Court justice. <laughs> uh, that Mike, makes sense. Where to next? Oh, you're still me. Uh, There's 1,600 in the same category. You've just got this gig assisting the mixologists. Lots of lifting, so don't hurt the body part in the job's name. Paul. Well, that confused me. What is a bar hand? That is incorrect. Wow, good guess, though. It's a very good guess. Yeah. Nathan. What is bar back? That is correct. I didn't know that was a thing. Me either. <laughs> is a word? I used bag. to be one. All right, Nathan. Hmm. It's 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 kind of a mixture of being a porter and being uh 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 bareback loading. Lo <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like where's loading the alcohol. <laughs> Where to next, um, Nathan? Um. Sure. Let's uh finish this two thousand one up. You're the new court reporter. Dazzle them with your fingers while you operate this intimidating machine. Unlock. Paul. Oh my god. <sighs> what is a stenographer? Can you name the machine? Uh, a stenographer? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give it to you. Oh, what is a stenograph? Oh, a yeah. stenograph. Okay, that makes sense. All right, Paul, where to next? I was sitting there like, why won't it buzz? <laughs> yeah, me too. I love, I so love the idea that it's called a stenographone. Can yeah. we all just live in that world? All right, seven <laughs> syllable words. If you fear the number 13, you suffer from this. Oh, Eric. I mean, Triscodecophobia. That is correct. Is My oh, favorite phobia. card in the card game, Magic Ma the Gathering. I was going to say, if you play Magic the Gathering with me and Eric, you probably know the answer to this. <laughs> I'll never forgive you for beating me with that card. Anyway, uh, you're up next. Where are we going? Let's finish off seven syllable words for 2000. Richard Waterman, who studied the songs of the Long Yolongu people, helped popularize this field of study. Oh, cool. Nathan. Sociocultural anthropology? That is incorrect. Yeah, it's fine. Oh. Big word, though. Ethnomusicology. Whoa. Oh. 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 So fancy. All right, All right uh, like Eric, where to next? Uh, quoth the Maven for 400, please. Agnes DeMille said, The truest expression of a people is in its these, and music bodies never lie. <laughs> Eric. Yes. What is dance? That is correct. I was going to say hips. Nice. Wow. Um, quoth the Maven for 2,000, please. In an essay, this Brit scene here, uh, imagine him, uh, wrote, literature is doomed if liberty of thought perishes. Nathan. Fuck it, who's Winston Churchill? That is incorrect. That would have been my guess. I, just, I figured I might as well just go for it. Yeah. Eric. Oh, shit, I don't think he's... Who is Alexis de Tocqueville? That is incorrect. Rats. Oh. He's French. Oh. Alexis from Shit Mitchell. Creek. Who is John Locke? That is incorrect. <laughs> Legs from Lost? No. No. Nope. There's an actual. No. Uh, George John Orwell. Orwell. No. George Orwell. Oh. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It probably would have helped if we could have seen his picture because he was holding a copy of Animal Farm. Anyways, Eric, <laughs> where do you want to go helps. next? <laughs> oh, um, authors not authoring for 400, please. After being a train-riding teen hobo, Jack London went to Cal Berkeley, but soon dropped out to search for this in the Klondike. Paul. Oh, uh, what is gold? That is correct. Um, animals, 800. 
The two-toed one of these can live up to 20 years, most it, most of it upside down in the canopy of the rainforest. Mitchell. No! What is the sloth? That is correct. Where to next? Where sloth? That's oh. how fast my brain moved remembering what that animal was. <laughs> Facts about animals, 1,200. Do 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 So I think you can wager up to $2,000 here, Mitchell. Ah, oh, shit. Do it. 2000 I'm trying. One second. You won't let me enter. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, this happened to Paul. You want to put in 2000 I got you. Yeah. All right. All right, you ready? Yes. When faced with danger, certain ducks, snakes, and mammals do this, also called thanatosis. Oh. Um, do I just say it? Yep. This is the daily uh, if they Do they freeze? That is incorrect. Oh. Oh, so no, they play dead. dead. Play dead. Oh. Mm. Wasn't your question. <laughs> I was clicking, though. I know, I, I know. was clicking so hard for Mitchell. I saw. <laughs> All right, Mitchell, where to next? 1600, please. This, the kestrel is also known as this type of hawk. After, nice, after the nice little bird it's looking around for here. Picture it in your head. Oh, great. A small little bird. <laughs> Paul. What is a sparrow hawk? Th that is correct. Oh. Oh. Hmm. He pictured yeah. it. Oh. He pictured uh, it. Let's do is it a uh, 2000. All right. Sweden's only wild feline is this short-tailed cat that's able to bring down much larger animals like reindeer and roe deer. Oh, it's bald. Tyler. Oh, this is... What is a lynx? That is correct. Yes! Oh, it's yeah. a lynx. Dang it. All right. Author's not authoring for 800. Ordained in 1695, Jonathan Swift spent 30 years as a dean of St. Patrick's Cathedral in this city. Oh. Megan. Uh. New York? That is incorrect. What is New York? That would have been my guess too, Megan. Yeah. It's the only place I know of a St. Patrick's Cathedral big enough. It's Dublin. Dublin. It's Dublin. Dublin. You should have said it. <laughs> Trust yourself. That's that's always the advice oh, of Ghost Alex Trebek. Uh, Tyler, where to next? Um, authors for twelve. During World War II, this American was with the Fourth Infantry Division in Europe before going home to Cuba. Steve Unlocked. Rogers. <laughs> oh shit! What's his name? Hemingway. Anyway. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I All right, Tyler. Where to next? No, no, I couldn't remember his name, um, though. I didn't want to buzz and then forget. Mm. Oscar for 1200 Let's go. This man as Juan in Moonlight. It's not... Mahershala Ali. Ah. Sure. Um, act, uh, acting Oscar for sixteen. Jason Robards is this newspaper editor in All the President's Men. Oh. Yeah. I don't even know this one. Oh. Ooh. Wow. All right, Bradley. Tyler. Bradley. Probably um, Bradley Cooper. Actors for 2000. Martin Landau is this real life actor in Ed Wood. Martin Landau. Bella Lugosi. <laughs> yeah, he's just playing himself. That'd be so funny. <laughs> Oh, that's uh, a great idea for one of the PBG joke jeopardies. There you go. Uh, uh, Tyler. 1600? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a student at Stanford in 1959, he was part of an army experiment on mind-altering drugs and later worked in a hospital psych ward. Because he also did the baby. What? A baby. <laughs> and Casey. <laughs> and Casey. All right, let's finish this one up. With a daily double, Tyler. Oh, God. Uh, oh, poor Tyler. A hundred bucks. Two thousand. A hundred bucks? I got you. All right. Okay. All right. You ready? Yeah. She studied medicine at Johns Hopkins before moving to Paris in 1903 and drove an ambulance for the French in World War I. Ernest Hem. I, I have no idea. I mean, it's a she, so that narrows down she. a little. Lisa Frank. Yeah. We were looking for Gertrude Stein. Yeah, Gertrude never Stein. Oh, yeah. Huh. All right. That. I will show the final category. Third, the 13 oh. colony. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, it's original American stuff. All right. So I think everyone's thing might be broken, but you can try to submit and I'll see. All right. Yeah, no. Mike was able to submit. I, I submitted. Sorry, what was <laughs> the category? It said I wagered zero dollars. I missed the category. What was it? The 13 the colonies. Oh god, okay. Great. Yeah, things are are busted. Yeah, I can't. I wagered zero, but like work. Yeah, mine oh. I put in a number and it said I submitted zero. 
You don't need to. You're always like behind it. I I don't actually think you need to use the submit button if I remember correctly. It just does it. Okay. No, that's when you type. Yeah, that's that's where your answer. All wagers have been submitted. Eric wagered all of their money. That's incredible. (laughs) <laughs> All right. I tried to wager 10,000 and it wouldn't let me. No, you can only wager what you got. Oh, Final question. Funny. Founded by an advocate of religious freedom, it was the site of America's first Baptist church and oldest synagogue. Everyone get your answer in. I'm going to play the music. Is anybody else's thing like doubled for the yep. total yep. you should wager? Okay, great. I can't type. <laughs> yeah, mine's being glitchy. I can't type either. Oh, yeah, now I, I can't. can. I clicked on it enough and now I can type. Yeah, it's layered over top of itself. This yeah. Jeopardy instance is a little glitched. Weird. All right. I can reload it after this. We can try again. I straight up can't type. All right. I'll get this keyboard. Well, I'm let's gonna hit submit and hope it goes in. All right. Let's get... I'll give everyone's answers. Paul, what did you say? Or what did you want to say? I was going to say my mom's house. Cool. All right. <laughs> Nathan? Uh, no, mine's there. Yeah. All right, boom, yeah. so that's wrong, that's wrong. Mitch, you wrote, I wrote Hello Mitchell in your tablet. Yeah, I was going to say New York, if that counts. Uh, unfortunately, that is wrong, but I will still count it. Manhattan Island is wrong for Mike. Boston is wrong for Tyler. Megan wrote nothing. Boston uh, yeah, I could not, not write. And Eric, what do, what do you want to say, Eric? I tried to say New England. That is wrong, unfortunately. We're looking for Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. So our winner is Paul. Yay. With $2,800. Congratulations, Paul. You are the the winner of the first game of PBG Jeopardy in 2022. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you had a good one. We'll see you guys very soon for some more content and also bad jokes because that's what we always hit out of the park here. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, GG's.